Get your gloves and safety equipment, because in this project, we're exploring five ways to start a fire using water. Grab an old light bulb and chisel out the bottom so you can see down inside. Now pour in a bit of hot water, and when you shake it vigorously, you'll notice the white coating washes right out. After you've rinsed it a couple of times, you should have a crystal clear bulb like this. Fill the light bulb with water, cap the bottom with a balloon, and voila! You've just created a makeshift magnifying glass. Go ahead and use your liquid light bulb to focus the sunlight on a piece of newspaper. It should start smoking immediately, and just a minute later, burst into flames. Find a small dish and line it with plastic wrap in a way that takes the shape of the bowl. You can add water until the bowl is nearly full and gather each of the plastic corners at the top. This will form a little liquid pouch, and by twisting the corners together, you can seal the water inside. You've just formed a clear liquid sphere that fits in the palm of your hand. Now put the sun behind you and focus the light on a dark piece of paper. Your tinder should start smoking within seconds, and when enough embers have collected inside, you'll soon have your fire. Take a picture frame and cover it with a layer of plastic wrap, then suspend it on something a couple of feet off the ground. Now carefully pour hot water onto the plastic, and as you do, it'll begin to sag, forming a natural and effective liquid lens. Now gather up something you can use as tinder and find the focal point of the beam to concentrate the heat. When your tinder's smoldering, set it down so that it rests in the beam, and now you can sit back and watch the elements ignite the fire for you, completely hands-free. Try to find a juice bottle that looks like a giant plastic bubble and fill it with water. Position the liquid-filled bubble between the sun and your tinder pile until you find the spot where it starts smoking. Hold everything steady so the heat will continue to build, then add something like dried grass to help you lift the pile up and blow the smoldering embers into a flame. If the clouds have rolled over and blocked off your solar supply, you can use a toilet paper roll and a couple of chunks of sodium. The paper roll should be cut in half with a small piece cut out of the bottom and a wad of tissue pushed into the top. We can use the lid of a jar as our starter base and cover it with one square of toilet paper and place the small bits of sodium in the middle. The paper roll sits over top, followed by a heavier gauge kindling like a bunch of straw or dried grass. Now carefully pour a tablespoon of water into the base and run away. In just a couple of seconds, a little flame shoots out, igniting the kindling on top. You can see how this would stoke a blazing fire in just a matter of seconds. Now every experiment has its dangers, so if you try these methods yourself, make sure you have proper safety equipment as well as adult supervision. Well now you know five ways to use water to start a fire. If you like this project, perhaps you'll like some of my others. Check them out at thekingofrandom.com. Now you know how to start a fire with water, but do you know how to find a fun German-engineered car that makes sense too? You might think it's impossible, but it's not anymore. Check out my friends at Volkswagen, who are a huge support for this video. All their new cars come with no charge scheduled maintenance for two years or 24,000 miles. This means the car you really want, the one that's a blast to drive, is also the smart choice. And now you know.